Hello you guys, it's Miss Cranick. So I am just going through a quick demonstration on our project. What we are making are these rear view mirror style drawings. And so what you're going to see is a black and white drawing in perspective, okay, with a colored sky. So what I am looking for is a road with at least two lanes. All right, you need two sidewalks or gullies. That's the section on the side. All right, five or more trees or power lines. Okay, so here are my trees. All right, you need at least three level values. Remember, that's your lightest light to darkest dark. Okay, so I have number one here in the paint. All right, I have a level two over on the side. I have like a three and a four here. I have some dark spots, which is my level five. Okay, so at least three levels. All right, and the only part, the one and only part you color with colored pencil is the sky. And I want you to think of what time of day that sky is. All right, so I'm going to quickly show you. So you're going to have a sheet of paper that's about four inches by eight inches. Okay, and the first thing you need to do, and I'm sorry I can't get this whole thing in the shot, is you need to draw your horizon line. So that's the line that goes all the way across. Okay. All right, that's it. Step two, dot on the horizon, your vanishing point, where everything disappears. Okay. So now, to make the road. So we need at least one road with two lanes. Okay. So figure out how wide do you want the road. Do you want it to be narrower? Okay. Or do you want it to be very wide? I leave that up to you. That is your artistic choice. All right, so I'm just going to draw my lines from the dot out. Okay. Remember, everything comes from that dot. Okay, that's the most important thing. All right. Now, I'm going to draw a very light line for that center. All right. So this is where I'm going to draw the dashed lines of the road, the yellow line in the road. Oop. Okay. So it's nice and skinny. As things get further away, remember they get closer together. They appear to be closer. In reality, we know they're the same size, but on paper, it's a little twist, okay? All right, once you get that, so we have our two lanes, one, two. Now we need sidewalk or gully. So I'll show you a sidewalk on one side and a gully on the other. So a sidewalk, remember, all right, how wide do we want our sidewalk? Okay. Boop. There we go. Sidewalk. Lines on the sidewalk go side to side. Remember that trick I showed you? All right. Line up the edge of the ruler to the line of the side of the page. Okay. And then you have you know your line is going to be perfectly horizontal. Ta-da. All right. If you don't use that trick of lining it up, all right. The lines tend to be a little awkward. All right, so side to side, line it up. Remember, they get closer together as you go further back. Okay, now a gully is where that water collects on the side of the road. Okay, so I'm just gonna define that side space. Okay, and draw some curved lines downward. Okay, and this is going to show the space that dips down. Okay, I can also use my values, so I might have it darker towards the bottom and lighter at the top. All right, so that's two different techniques to show that this is a space that goes down and up. Okay, so remember, press harder for a darker area, slowly lighten up less pressure, okay, and if it's a man-made gully, it's going to be nice and smooth, all right, if it's a little more earthy, it might be kind of a bouncy texture you add, okay, all right, so we've got a road with two lanes, we've got our, a sidewalk or a gully, okay, I'm just showing you both examples, you can just choose one, all right, five or more trees or power lines, 
So let's start off with a tree, okay? Remember, trees have a trunk, wider at the base, narrow at the top. Okay, vague idea of where our tree goes. Before I add too much detail, I am going to lightly draw in my line, very lightly, oh so lightly, there we go. Okay, and now I know where every tree is going to stop. Okay, and I need to do that with the bottom. So I line up the vanishing point with the bottom of the tree very lightly. Okay, so now I know if I've planted the same trees at the same time, all right, they're all going to be about the same size. Okay, so then I'll just keep making my tree trunks. You'll add branches. Remember, it's going to be wider where it connects. And it's always thinner at the edge. Okay. All right. And then I tend, if you want leaves, I tend to make the scratchy texture. Okay. If you want to erase the line in the background, you can do that, which would probably be smart of me. I'll do it for the rest. Okay. All right. So it doesn't have to be filled in. I suggest you avoid the lollipop tree. Do not draw the lollipop tree. We are better than the lollipop tree. Okay. All right. You might have one tree next to the other that's a little darker. All right. Remember this part, we are only using our values. We are not adding any color. Okay. So focus on the values. I'm just putting these in really fast. And then there's going to be less detail towards the back. So you'll see a lot of detail in the front and less in the back. Okay. If you prefer power lines, remember. All right. Same deal. All right. In the front. So the part closest to us, you're going to make the utility pole, okay, curve top, curve at the bottom, all right, match it up just the way we did with the trees, swoop, nice and light, remember sketch light till you get it right. This is a section we know we're going to erase that we might not need, all right, and you'll go through and put in your power lines. Okay. Remember, if you have an issue with that up and down, side to side, the verticals and horizontals, line up the bottom of the ruler with the bottom of the page. All right, line, curve, curve. Line, line, curve, curve. All right, and once I get all of them in, so I'll probably make two more, and then I can actually put in the physical power lines themselves, which just kind of look like little happy faces. Whee! Okay. All right, once you work on that, then you can add your values. All right, so typically roads are pretty dark. Um, think of what is on the side of the road. Do you have grass? Okay, you might just put in some scratchy grasses. All right, I want to see some different textures in there. Okay, the road is going to be nice and smooth, so you'll use the side of your pencil to go back and forth. Okay, take your time with this. All right, so you're going to add values to all of this, all right, and then you're going to add color to the sky. All right, you guys, good luck, have fun.